coming live again to minister the same word to you the power to control everything from mark chapter 15 16 verse 15 if you get this right everything in your life will be possible you will begin to have dominion over everything we will listen to the song again and if you can could kindly please share this broadcast on your wall and then after this song we will go into the word of god hallelujah this word has been bothering me for almost two weeks now. And last week when I shared it, I began to see results in my life and the life of others who have taken it of God's word. And they said this broadcast to your Facebook, wall, or whatever groups that you belong to, pages. Because this word must be heard by every believer in order to take dominion. Or everything that God has created and God has given to us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. God bless your heart. Papa, you know service me. Papa, you don't serve this in me. You serve this stop us today. Now, oh, get a time. Oh, get a time. Papa, you don't serve this in me. Papa, you don't service in me. You service that I still to be. Now, get a time. You service that I still to be. Now, get a time. Oh, yes, 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 I still today, now we Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Wherever you are tuning in from this afternoon, very good afternoon to you. Very good afternoon to you. I'll just lower the volume here to have this song play at the background. Um... As the message of the word is the power to control everything or all creation, you know. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, God says, Let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them, it says, God says, the God said, in, in Hebrew it says the God said. And the God said is, is plural and it's Elohim. Elohim Omar in Hebrew it says the God said. God says, 
So Elohim Omar is God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Therefore they said in Genesis 1 verse 26, Let us make men in our image after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the air, and over, over the fish of the sea, the beds of the air, and every living creature that walks and creeps on the surface of this earth. So yes, Genesis chapter 1 is 26. Let them have dominion. Let us make men in our image and after our likeness. Image is an iconic representation of the original object. So take note of the definition of this word. Image is an iconic representation. It's a representation of the original object. And likeness in Genesis 1 26, likeness is a noun and it depicts the character and the characteristics and the the nature of God that they want to uh, plant or they want to put in men so that men can be a living substance, a physical matter that can resemble the spiritual substance which is God, who is in the spirit realm. So when God said, let us make men in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and every living thing that walks and creeps and breathes on the surface of the earth, God has given dominion over men. Now, that dominion was lost when man sinned, and Christ came to restore that dominion. And in Mark chapter 16, verse 15, Jesus, it was the great commission that Jesus commissioned his disciples and sent them out into the world. And most of the time, we talk about the great commission in Mark chapter 16, verse 15. But I would want you to pay a very close attention to the scriptures as we read through. I'm reading from um, Life Application Bible. If you read from New King James Version, it's it's more similar to um, this translation translation that I'm using now, Life Application Bible. So in Mark chapter 16, verse 15, it says, Jesus said to them, Go into all the world and preach the good news to all creation. Go into all the world and preach the good news to all creation. Go into all the world. In, in King James Version, it says, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Gospel in Greek is Eugalion. And bear in mind, it says, Go ye into all the world. Go ye into all the world. It's not saying, Go ye, pastors, you go ye into all the world, or bishops, or apostles, or, or only those who are ordained. No, it says, Go ye into all the world. Jesus was talking to his disciples. But we can see that it is an implication, it is an open statement to every believer to go here into all the world and preach the good news. The good news in Greek is Yugalian, which means too good to be true. And some of the things that you will hear right now, if, you are, if your heart is not ready to hear what God is about to reveal to you, people will think this is too good to be true because this is what good news is. Good news is. You know, good news in Greek is too good to be true. Yugalian. So, you know, I used to minister and tell people that, no, I've come to a place where I begin to speak to the creation. I sp when, I, I, when I don't have money, when I, I don't have food, I pray to God. And then I go down to the house and I start to talk to the creatures, the creation that is surrounding my house. I talk to the grass, I talk to the trees, I talk to the flowers, I tell them, I need this money to attend this meeting. I need this money to go to the place. I need this money to buy food. And God has been so good to surprise me with those results. Every time when I speak, the creation in Romans chapter 8 verse 19 says, the creation earnestly wait, they eagerly, they groan in pain, waiting for the manifestation of the sun. So as women groan in pain to give birth to children, the creation groan in the same manner. They are yearning, they are longing to see when will the sons of God, those who are made in His image after His likeness, those who carry an iconic representation of the, the, the invisible God who is, who is the great spiritual substance manifested in human form. When will they come to a consciousness that they are God men walking on earth? You know, the creation earnestly wait for the manifestation. And I tell you, if you get the mystery that is that is unlocked today from Mark chapter 16 verse 15, you will never go wrong in life, in ministry, in everything. And it says, go here into all the world and preach the good news, that the news that is too good to be true, to all creation. In some translation it says to all creature, and in other translation it says to everyone. Now to everyone, it, it only 
um, talks to people, human beings only. But when uh, in other translations where it says to all creation or to all creature, I want us to pay attention to that. Every creation that is made in the image of God and those that are not made in the Im image of God, those that God has given us dominion over. As I've mentioned earlier in Genesis 1.26, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and every living thing that walks and creeps on the surface of the earth. God has given us dominion over that. And now Jesus is saying, go into all the world and preach to all creation. You know, when I begin to speak to creation, I begin to see results. I begin to see results. You see, last week Sunday I ministered this word. And those who have attended the service, the moment they went and applied the word, they begin to see results. One woman has no food in the house. And on her way back to the house, she started to speak to the crotons and the biscuits that were on the pathway, the gateway into her house. And when, uh, she told the crotons and the biscuits that, that, you know, I have no food in the house. And I, as a God man, right now in the name of Jesus, I command you to bring my food. And uh, she was specific in saying, I want to eat banana. And on her way into the house, there was a banana tree with a ri banana ready to be eaten. She cut down that banana and took it to the house, praising God that you know, she spoke to the creation and the creation responded to her. And my my other niece, daughter, two, two, three days ago, she started to, as she was going down to the river to bath at the back of where we are building Guinness Square International Ministry Incorporated Church. She went down and told the river that, no, I, I want uh, tukina. I want to buy sausage and you know god blessed her with that tukina on her way back she found the tukina on the on the pathway and you know the the moment i ministered that message last week after ministering that message i also came and spoke to the grass spoke to the trees spoke to the creation and i was blessed with some money to continue to build a church so jesus said go into all the world and preach the good news to all creation the creation is right now earnestly eagerly waiting for you to minister to them. They are waiting for you, for you to give them a command. They are waiting for you as a son of God. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 says that for unto us a child is born, a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. A wonderful counselor and all the other descriptions that went down. But pay attention, it says a child is born. You have been born into the family of God and you have become a child of God already. Now a son is given. Sonship is given to those who have come to a maturity state. They have come to understand the scriptures. They have come to a level where mysteries begin to unlock or they are exposed to the mystery of the world. They hunger and eager to long for more of God. And Jesus says in Matthew chapter 5 verse 6, those who hunger and test after righteousness, they shall be filled. Those are the ones who have been uh, shifted from a child level to a maturity level where you come into a state of be being a son and the sonship level is given it is given to those who anger and test after righteousness those who seek your face the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto them you know so now jesus said in mark chapter 16 verse 15 go into all the world and preach the good news the good news is too good to be true to all creation you see I'll give you a few examples before I close. In 2016, when I returned back from Australia, I, I told my child, my little girl Grace, and my wife, and everybody in the house, every time we come at the back of the house, there's a rambutan tree there. And this tree does not give birth to foods. So in Papua New Guinea, we will say it's a male tree. And all our neighbors in the neighborhood have been telling us to cut the tree down because it's, it gives us a lot of rubbish, and they are looking at the negative side of it while they are looking at the negative side of it i was looking at the positive side of it and i told my daughter we will speak to the tree so every time we come to the back of the house the veranda that is going down to the ground uh, we would talk to the tree touch the branch say you are a good tree thank you for giving us shade thank you for giving us oxygen thank you for giving us uh, fresh air uh, every time we look at your leaves it reminds us of abundance of life abundance of um, uh, abundance living in abundance and prosperity every time we look at the green leaves it reminds us of tukina hundred kina every time we look at the yellow leaves it reminds us of you know having a lot of 50 kina having a lot of 20 kina you know we come up with statements belief statements started to speak to the tree and um you know it was so amazing that after five months we started speaking to the tree on um Sep uh, september october november 
December, January, the tree started to put fruits now, give flowers. And then after the flowers, in February, it gave back to first fruits. And we harvested those fruits before we move out. And we spoke to the tree and it gives us fruit. And for many, many instances, I would come up to the house and speak to the creation that I need this money. I want to go to this meeting. I want to attend this and I, I, I need some money. And I would go back and wait for the Holy Spirit to give me a prompting, either to call people or they will call me or give me an instruction to go to some other places. And I've been following those instructions. You know, I meet people who say, hey, we have this for you. We have been looking for you. We want to give you this. And they give exactly what I need for the meeting. They give exactly what I need to, to buy food for the house. And it's amazing when I begin to understand the mystery that is locked in this word. It says, preach the good news to all creation. The creation in Romans chapter 8 verse 19, it says, the creation earnestly wait for the manifestation of the sons. And when will we manifest? Today is the day that you and I will manifest. As you understand this mystery, don't wait for anybody to tell you that the power will come from there. Power will come. No, no. Power has already been given to us. Luke 10 verse 19 says, I have given you all power in heaven and on earth to cast out demons, to heal the sick, to deliver those who need deliverance. You see, the power has already been given to us. Therefore, in Ephesians 3 verse 20, God says, you know, He is able to do exceedingly abundantly according to the power that is in us. The power is in us. Now, in Mark chapter 16 verse 15, Jesus said, Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Preach the good news to all creation. Start to preach to all creation now. Start to preach to everything that is in your house. Outside your house. Go and speak to the ground. Speak to the trees. You know, I used to tell myself that, you know, I've come to a consciousness that I am God man on earth. Therefore, every step that I take is God taking it. Galatians 2.20 says that it's no longer I that lives, but Christ that lives in me. Therefore, if Christ that lives in me, then that means every step I take is Christ. Every words that are coming out of my mouth, it's not me speaking, but it is the Father who lives in me that is speaking to you. It is the Father who lives in me that is speaking to you, that is talking to you, that is unlocking this mystery. Because John chapter 14 verse 23 says, If you love me and love the words of my Father, then my Father and I will come and make my own in you. You see, Jesus said, we will come and make our own in you. 1 Corinthians 3 16 says, Surely do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? God dwells in us. If God dwells in us, it's no longer us, but He in us. Therefore, every step we take is God taking. Now, if you have come to this consciousness and accept this mystery and start to leave this rema and tell yourself that I am in Him and He is in me, I am in Him, He is in me, you, you will see from a child's state being a child of God to a sonship where sonship is given. And when you come to the level of sonship, when you speak, creation will give that which you want because they are eagerly waiting. They are groaning in pain. When will the sons of God rise? And this afternoon I want to tell you that Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the good news to all creation. Preach the good news to all creature. And in verse 16 he says, whoever believes, now he's talking to human beings. If human beings believe this statement, baptize them believes and is baptized will be saved and whoever does not believe will be condemned this condemnation is passed on human beings i will talk about that tomorrow during the service but today this is the message that i've delivered last week um sunday and we've seen results in this week and i thank god that we will see more results so uh, praise god praise god thank you jesus uh, if you have tuned in and have listened to this mystery don't waste this. God is not a man that he will lie, not a son of man that he will change his mind. Go out there and start to preach to all creation. Tell them whatever you need, whether it be money, it be a person that you want to see, a meeting that you want to go in, you need a text which speak to creation. And you will see that creation will respond to you because they are eagerly waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. And this is the power to control everything. When you understand this, every word that comes out of your mouth will begin to give shape, size, and form to your reality. And I've seen it in my life in ministry. I've been encouraging others about this. And our members have been applying it and they are seeing it. And those who have been, uh, who are right now seeing this video on, online, on air, I am encouraging you to apply this word in your daily life so that you will never go wrong in your life. Thank you very much. And have a blessed weekend. 
and see you tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm coming live again on Facebook, on YouTube. So uh, during our service, Genosco International Ministry Incorporated Church, I'll be coming live at uh, Gabonsis. So stay tuned for more updates on unlocking mysteries and dispensing it to you. Praise God. Thank you very much. And uh, let me close with a prayer. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, those who have listened to the word of God, I declare and decree Ephesians 1 and 17. May the eyes of understanding, the eyes of your heart be enlightened by the power, dunamis power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, I declare and decree enlightenment in the understanding of the scriptures. May they not be just reading the scriptures without understanding it, but may they go through the scriptures word by word and the Spirit of the Lord who connect with our spirit will begin to declare and un unfold and unlock these mysteries to them. I say thank you for their life, thank you for their ministry, thank you for their family, their business, their job. May it be increased right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Be increased in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for their life, I secure their life, their future, their job, their finance, their family this weekend and always with the blood of Jesus. The blood that speaks better things than that of Abel. The blood that speaks our health, our healing, our miracle, our, our deliverance, our breakthrough, our prosperity, our abundance, everything that we need to live life in fullness on earth. I declare and decree the blood will make it and bring it forth into manifestation. In Jesus' mighty name, I offer this prayer. Amen. Thank you for tuning in. You are blessed. You have a blessed afternoon. And see you in the next video episode. Bye for now.